Heather Duplessy Allen Drive, weekdays from four on News Talk ZB. You know, I am so disappointed to hear Rob Campbell finally admitting that the health system is in crisis. He said it this morning in a round of interviews. He was talking about his speech last night, which is all about him slamming the health reforms. And he said the new health system is in a crisis situation. Yeah, it's in crisis. We can all see that it's in crisis. So here's my question. Why didn't he say that when he was still in charge of the health system? He had so many opportunities to say this. In fact, he was on our show on the 1st of November. I remember it so clearly. We asked him if the health system was in crisis and he did everything to avoid just saying yes. He said, oh, look, we've got a number of crises and debating whether it's a crisis is not really the point. And inflammatory language doesn't really help, but he wouldn't say yes it's in crisis. And that is exactly when he should have admitted it, because then he could have fixed it. It's no good him now admitting it. I mean, he's been sacked from his job. He's just a civilian like the rest of us. Him admitting it is in crisis is only slightly more valuable than you admitting it's in crisis, because neither you can nor he can fix it from the outside, can you? I mean, you know, most of what he says is true from what I hear from others involved in the health system and the scrapping of the DHPs. Yep, there are people in the system who deliberately tried to slow the reform down to save their jobs. And yes, there are too many managers who are rubbish at the jobs. And yes, the reform was a half-baked idea. But he should have had the courage to say this stuff before he got the sack. Because then the minister would have listened to him. And then we would have listened to him. And then he could have fixed it. But now he might be right. But he might also just be bitter. Heather Duplessy Allen Drive. Weekdays from 4 on News Talk ZB.